Hey guys, it's Kevin with Mix Coach. I wanted to put together a short tutorial for you because I have a subscriber who wanted to know about cursor placement. Now, cursor placement it happens in two ways. You can either uh, play something on your screen and it will snap back to the original. Notice that it's starting at 89.4 and every time you hit the space bar it plays, but every time you stop it snaps back to 89.4. Okay, that's the way I'm used to working, but if you want your Pro Tool system to work more like a tape machine, in other words, it stops where you left off and continues playback from where you left off like this, where it stops at 93, and then you, you play, and then it stops at 90, and then if you want it to act more like a tape machine, there's uh, two ways that you can actually do this. The first way is to go to your preferences, and then make sure that this is not clicked if you want it to operate, if you want it to snap back to the original position. If you click it, it will act more like a tape machine. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off for now and I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. This button here is called insertion after playback. And if you can toggle that and this works like I'm used to, and then if you turn this on, it operates like a tape machine. Okay, now you may be asking, why does this all of a sudden just come on for no reason? I'm going to show you. If your focus button is on, then there are hotkeys on your keyboard, one of them being the N key. Okay, if you turn that on and you hit N, it toggles it on and off. Okay, so I know that my fat fingers <laughs> tend to hit the N key too much. So when I hit when I go to hit the space bar to stop it, sometimes I will hit the N key and it operates differently. So I hope this clears up your question about cursor position in Pro Tools. I will see you soon.